What's up, guys? Uh, I had a quick question for those of you who have uh, the Corsair K70 keyboard. Uh, this one, I just up, I just updated it from version 111.85 to 111.86. And uh, when I did that, my DFX audio enhancer did some funky, crazy shit on here. And if you try to close each one of these windows, it just reopens again after you close it. So the only other option I have to do right now is just to restart the computer. So uh, I wanted you guys to take a look at this and see if maybe you can show me what's going on here. So this is the DFX Audio Enhancer. Um, this thing's actually pretty good. It, it does a good job at enhancing and adding bass to music, especially when you're playing anything that's not on your Windows Media Player because it has its own equalizer on it. But if you're playing YouTube videos, Windows Media Player's equalizer does not work with um, YouTube or any other videos you watch. But um, what I did was I just updated the utility engine to 11185 to 11186. It popped up a message said there was an update available, so I went in and downloaded that one. And uh, I just got finished installing this one. And then DFX Audio Enhancer does this. And it does this also with my Bluetooth, uh, my, U my USB Bluetooth dongle. If I change headsets or if I go from uh, Bluetooth to wireless, it, the DFX audio enhancer won't even work with wireless uh, headphones. It'll work with Bluetooth but not wireless, the, R the RF headphone types. But look at all these windows that opened up. All the way down there and all the way back up there. I mean, why is it doing this? This is ridiculous. I don't even know what that means. I mean, that, I've tried uh, sending messages to the people that run the BFX Audio website, and they keep saying there's something wrong with my Bluetooth thing. But in this case, it's actually the Corsair keyboard, the K70 RGB keyboard. So, um,. I don't know what's going on here, but if you try to close each one of these windows, it just opens up a bunch more, so there's no point in doing that. you got to go in and, and either restart or go into, uh, oh, what is it called, uh, the task manager where you can view everything that's run, and you have to disable it manually, and then that thing shuts completely down if you do that. So I just restart the computer over again, but that's what that says. And there's like 50 of them opened all the way up, up and down the screen. <clears throat> but anyway, if you guys have any idea what causes this, let me know. Uh, post a message below this video. Uh, give a link to a website or something so I get this fixed. Because this is annoying. Every time I update Corsair, this happens. So uh, let me know if any of you guys ever experienced this and if you got it fixed. Thanks.